My name is Jerry Hanley, and I work at the California State University Office of the Chancellor, and I'm also the director of Skills Commons, a free and open digital library for workforce development. The Skills Commons project really is part of the Trade Adjustment Assistance Community College and Career Training Grant Program supported by the U.S. Department of Labor. And what that program did is it invested $2 billion into 700 community colleges for them to build the capacity for workforce development and bring innovation into the curriculum and their programs so when the people complete their degrees, they're better and more ready for employment in the 21st century. So there are really some critical decisions made by the U.S. Department of Labor in providing this investment. The first was that in order to make sure the curriculum and the programs were readying their students for employment, the community colleges had to partner with local industries and have those conversations as to what are the learning outcomes that are essential, what are the skills, what's the knowledge, what are the strategies that their students needed to have so they can be excellent employees in the local industries. So that partnership requirement is essential. The second was that all the capacity building, all the innovation in the curriculum, all the program support material that now is in digital form had to have an open license for, to ensure that other people can reuse those materials. And what that means is that when I can go and find these materials, like in a public library, I would then able to bring those materials home and use those in my own local area, in my own curriculum if I'm a faculty member, or in my own HR department if I'm a trainer. And I can use those materials, I can revise them, change them, and customize them for my local needs and what's cri critical is for free. So that open license then allows you to take something that was developed in Wyoming that had a tremendous benefit, and now how could everyone else use that expertise and deploy it in their own local environment to produce the benefits of increased enrollment in these programs? increase the retention and graduation so now I have more successful students completing those programs. How they then become more employable so I increase their salaries and increase the number of students in that industry. Now the third critical element is where would I find all these things? And this is where the Department of Labor asked the California State University and the Merlot Project to create a library of all these materials so everyone had a free and open access to these free and open materials. So what you can find in the library, for example, is I can get online courses, I can get um, program support materials that explain how would I run an apprenticeship program or a coaching program or provide strategies to create stacked and lattice credentials to make it easy for people to move through their careers in a more efficient way so they're better prepared for the workforce. All these curriculum and program support materials are available for companies, industries, higher education, and individuals to have access to. Having all the resources free and available still needs in a sense, instructions on how to best use those. Right? You can have all the components, but what's the expertise required to put it all together to produce that outcome? And that's really what this collection of videos you're going to see today is listening to the people who not only created the components, the curriculum and the programs, but now implemented in their local environment in their community colleges, with their industry partners, to help you understand what does it take to get the benefits of all these programs so you can take the $2 billion investment and you can then get the return on all that 
resources for you for free to help your students and your industry partners be successful. The National Library of Workforce Development is available for you at skillscommons.org.